If you've seen our socials, stories, and website, or stepped foot inside our office, then you know we see a lot of kids at Sprout Family Chiropractic. In this video, I wanna share with you what exactly makes our office pediatric focused because it's not just the toys and the fun we have. These five must-haves focus on what make us different from a traditional chiropractic office and allows us to get amazing results with the toughest pediatric cases. Number one, have advanced pediatric education and training. While we know that no matter the industry, education is not everything in and of itself, but taking care of kids and especially tough neurological or chronic illness cases absolutely requires additional and advanced training for a pediatric chiropractor that goes far beyond taking care of the spine, back pain, sports injuries, and the things of standard chiropractic education. In order to really achieve clinical proficiency, a pediatric chiropractor should have at least an additional 80 to 100 hours of advanced training, be actively involved in ongoing advanced training still today, and is the sort of doctor who constantly is looking to learn, improve, and find find ways to get even better clinical results all the time. That's exactly what our team of docs invests in every single month on a consistent basis. We train in a network with hundreds of other pediatric chiropractors. Number two, have a high level of clinical experience. First off, this does not mean that a child's pediatric chiropractor needs to have been in practice for a certain number of years or is a certain age. Honestly, some of the top pediatric and family chiropractors in practice today are young, but chose to focus all of their advanced training and clinical experiences, internships, associateships, etc., in high level pediatric programs and offices. Many chiropractors have a big heart for taking care of kids and many even have the word family in the name of their practice but day to day see very few kids and still end up with 80 to 90 percent of their patients being adults with back pain neck pain and spinal problems chiropractic is so wonderful for helping adults with those things but it does mean that they likely don't have enough reps to really take care of kids at the most advanced level as a pediatric chiropractor Number three, incorporate advanced neurological examination. In our office, that means using the insight scanning technology. Is your pediatric chiropractor using insight scanning or do they still rely solely on simple and standard exams like posture and palpation alone? At SFC, we cannot sing the praises of this advanced technology enough. Personally, I feel every chiropractic patient should have their central and autonomic nervous system function measured with this amazing piece of technology. Looking to make functional and long lasting changes to neurological function means two things. First, you have to get a baseline measure to really know what you're dealing with and put together a customized and personalized neurological care plan and adjusting approach for that patient. And second, you need to then utilize this technology to continually track and measure progress. When we ask parents who previously saw other family chiropractors and didn't see the results they wanted, if there were any continued progress evaluations, exams, scans, or way to measure if real change and improvements were happening, the answer is always no, there were not. One thing to really watch out for is if your child's adjustments are pretty much the exact same every single time on repeat. If a pediatric chiropractor does not utilize scanning technology and a tonal approach to adjusting, this is almost always the case. The fourth thing to look for is does your pediatric chiropractor utilize a multitude of adjusting techniques, especially a neural tonal approach? This is getting super nerdy and granular with how chiropractic really works and gets the best results. And yet we can keep it really simple by saying what should be quite obvious, every single case is different. Each child has their own unique case history with different forms of birth trauma, toxins, illnesses, and emotional stressors that negatively affected their nervous system. If a pediatric chiropractor does not consider all of these different factors and then personalize and match the adjusting technique and approach they use to that child's specific needs, then they may not get the best clinical results that they could in many cases. Our doc team is trained and experienced in numerous chiropractic techniques and adjusting 
approaches and we don't choose our favorite of what we like to do. We always choose with just one single rule in mind, which is what is needed for that child to get the best clinical results. This one actually goes back to number one and number two above, where if you don't have the right training and education on a multitude of techniques and the experience and clinical system to know which one to use and when, you're just not gonna get the same level of results as someone who does. And finally, number five, recommend a customized care plan, starting out with enough frequency and then recommending enough duration of care. Now, this is one of those things where something so simple can have such a profound effect. If the care plan, which is how often a child is getting adjusted every week and for how long, isn't enough, then put simply, there can be no expectation that a pediatric chiropractor can achieve solid clinical results. The care plan frequency and duration are so pivotal and important that we follow an advanced scientific approach to care planning and utilize that with every single patient. If a general family chiropractor does not have an advanced and updated care planning system and the recommendations for your child were just one to two times per week or worse, one to two times per month only, then there were no chance that they'd be able to get real neurological change and results given our understanding of how stressed and subluxated kids are today. So if chiropractic hasn't worked in the past, it may be as simple as needing a customized data and experience driven care plan that follows the principles that we talked about in this video. If this video helped clarify what you should be looking for in a pediatric chiropractor, we'd love for you to give this a like. And if you're not in San Diego and need help finding a pediatric chiropractor near you, just send us a DM. We'd love to help.